Hello friends, it's me Modern Baju. Today I am here for the isometric drawing of this orthographic projection. To make the isometric drawing of this orthographic projection, we have two different approaches. We have two different approaches. One is making box and another is without making a without using a box. Here I'm going to make the isometric drawing of this orthographic projection by using the box method. To make the isometric drawing from the box method, first of all, you have to make the box with the maximum dimension. Here you can see the height of this height of this object is 48 here 48 and the breadth of this object is 75 and the length of this object is 100 100 mm so I'm going to make the box with the maximum dimension here I'm going to incline these is this is of the object over here and this breadth this breadth is over here so let me make the box first here the breadth is 75 so first it's 75 and its height is 48 get mm line which is perpendicular okay again it's 75 also 48 and this length is 100 so I'm going to make this 100 It is again 48 Here first of all I am going to make the box Okay now our box is ready This is the box with the maximum dimension that is 48 height and 100 mm length sorry and 100 mm length And the breadth is 75 okay now our box is ready and after making this box you just need to copy the top view on the top of the box and the front view on the front side of the box here this is our front view and this is our top view so first of all we simply copy this object this figure on the top view and front view of the box this is our top view so I am going to make this top view over here on the top of the box and this is our front view so I am going to make this figure on this front side of this box so let me make this here I would like to start from the top view here this is my top view and I am going to copy this object on this top here this length is 36 so make a 36 mm line and this is 25 and this is 25 this both are 25 total is 50 so make a line with 50 mm length okay 
this is 36 total is 100 so the remaining length is 64 so make a line with the 64 mm long and make this portion also from the mid point of this line and also 64 mm long and parallel to these two lines okay we just copy this top view on the top of the box and we are going to I am going to copy this portion on this front view so let me draw this here I'd like to start from this point its height is 16 you can clearly see that 16 mm dimension here the width of this line is 25 this line is corresponds to this line here you can clearly see that it's 25 so make a line with the 25 mm dimension and then its height is again 16 so make a line with 16 mm diameter dimension sorry 16 so make a line with 16 mm dimension and then it's again it's again 25 make it first 25 mm in this this is now we just copy the top view and front view on the top and the front of the box then what we have to do is take a line from this point this point and parallel to these lines So simply make the line parallel to this line and from this point. Okay. And again from this point and again from this point. And from this point. You just make the line parallel to these points. Then simply join these lines. And from this line also. Now, now our drawing is almost completed. So it is this unnecessary portion okay here our drawing is almost completed now okay this is our required isometric view of this orthographic projection here this is our required isometric view of this orthographic projection here we are using the simply um, 2s pencil and now you can drag you can use the 2b pencil for your final drawing here i am using this sorry
Okay, here. This is our final drawing of this orthographic projection. Thank you, friends.